So I currently have a guy from the USA in my mentorship program. And in the space of two weeks, we've gone from him being someone with crippling approach anxiety, having never approached any woman ever in his whole entire life, to then doing 50 direct approaches in a space of seven days. And in this video, I wanna tell you exactly how he did that. To number one, either inspire you to replicate the same thing for yourself, or for number two, to book in a call with me and get my personal help as well. So, this is what we did. Now, again, we're back to this trifecta for cold approach success. And specifically today, we're gonna to focus on just this portion here, the approach resistance, right? Again, my client is only you know two weeks into the program, um, so we're not focusing on this productive conversation yet or this consistent action. Like I said in the previous video, we're just focusing on each of these green points one thing at a time. We're not gonna focus on this conversation part until my client has complete approach freedom and the way it's going now, that's gonna be very, very soon, so I'm extremely excited for him. But again, how did I make him go from having cri literally crippling approach anxiety being in his late 20s and having never ever approached a woman in his life, being absolutely terrified of doing so, to then going over and doing 50 distinct, direct cold approaches, paying a girl a compliment, showing intent, putting his ego on the line 50 times in a single week. So the first thing we have on this approach freedom portion is enhanced motivation. Now, specifically for my client here, we didn't really have to do too much on this enhanced motivation part because based of our conversations, I was quite happy with his motivation levels and also his his lifestyle, right? His lifestyle complemented motivation. He felt motivated. He just couldn't do the approaches, right? But for a lot of men, this is a big, big problem, right? For a lot of men, they, they're scared to approach, but they don't realize that their own lifestyle is actually causing this problem. So all this means enhancing motivation is do you feel on a daily basis a deep, innate, masculine drive to actually go out there and meet women and have sex with them? Or go out there, meet women, and make them your girlfriend, right? Do you have this deep, innate, internal, masculine drive? Do you have this, you know, testosterone-fueled desire to do that? Most men don't, and the reason for that is, number one, they masturbate every single day right? They don't hold their seed. They're watching porn multiple times a week. They're masturbating multiple times a week. And every day, every other day, they are releasing that energy that could be transmuted into this, you know, magnetism and this desire and this drive to actually go out there and reproduce. That is the first thing. Number two, they don't work out. Again, working out, it boosts your testosterone levels. It boosts how you feel, it boosts your mood, you feel more driven, more happy, more motivated, more confident, right? It makes you look good, makes you feel good, right? Again, most men don't work out and therefore they are not maximizing the level of motivation they can feel. Number three, they eat a bunch of processed junk food every day. Again, that isn't food, right? If you're eating processed food, junk food every day, right? That isn't giving you the energy, the micronutrients that you need for a healthy masculine body, for a healthy masculine drive, right? So that is the first thing. Now, again, thankfully, my client didn't really have any of, of, of those problems. You know, he wasn't like some chronic masturbator. He ate well, he goes to the gym, those sorts of things. So he was fine in that regard. But again, if you're someone who isn't doing those things or you are doing those things, as in, you know, you are masturbating, right? You shouldn't be masturbating at all. Don't masturbate, don't watch porn. If you are, cut those things out right now. Number two, go to the gym, right? Again, it's not just about having, it's not just about having bigger muscles. It's about all the internal benefits that it gives you as well, specifically to your testosterone production and your mood and your hormone levels and things like that. And number three, eat healthy, right? Drink plenty of water, get your sunlight, right? I know all this sounds quite basic, but most men in this day and age are not doing these things. Therefore, their body isn't even structured in the right way, right? They don't have the, the, the masculinity drive, right? the, masculine, the masculine energy, the drive, all these things, all their hormones are off, and therefore they don't feel this innate, deep, passionate motivation, this deep down drive, desire to actually go out there and meet women in real life. So again, that was the first thing we took care of. Again, my client didn't really, really, didn't really need that, but again, obviously if you feel like, based on what I said, that is you, then please enhance your motivation. Number two, boost self-confidence. Again, very much like Sadiq, uh, this was the biggest problem with my client here. 
Uh, and I imagine for most people, it's the biggest problem too. You know, essentially, we have all grown up in this frame that women are better than men, right? That women are the prize. You know, think about like the princess in the castle, right? Uh, the first one actually I can think of is Shrek, which is like a really bad example. But again, even Shrek, right? Uh, Princess Fiona's in the castle, Shrek has to save her, right? She's the prize, she's a flower, he's the guy that has to like basically nearly kill himself or, you know, go through such trial and turmoil and tribulation just to save this woman, right? But that is the general narrative that we're shown as young men, right? In Disney films and films in general, right, where the man has to prove himself to the woman. The man has to show, her, show the woman that he is worthy of her not the other way around. And when you've gone through that sort of mental condition for decades, right, for, you know, 10, 15, 20, 25 years, that is going to impact your relationships with women. That is going to impact your confidence with women as a man, right? So again, this was the next big thing that me and my client here had to overcome in order for him to actually start going and approaching these women and being confident and, and showing intent, right? And the way we did that, again, Inside my program, I have a bunch of different worksheets that specifically target this part of your brain. Like I told you in a previous video, it essentially manipulates your brain into thinking you are the absolute shit, right? Even if currently you're not, right? <laughs> it tricks your brain into thinking that you are. It also helps you to even out that, that disparity, right? That value disparity between man and woman. It helps you to bring down the woman a peg or two in your eyes and also to amplify your own self-worth and your own self-value by a peg or two. So beforehand, maybe you came into the program being here and the woman being there in your eyes. Now, we're not only going to get it equal, but we're actually going to get you a bit above her. Like, that's where I want you to be, right? Not in like a, not in a bad way where you disrespect women or you don't view them as, as worthy, right? This is in a completely healthy and in positive way, right? But you actually want to view yourself as a bit above her, right? And actually, women want that too, right? Women don't want someone who they think they have more value with, right? Women want someone that in her eyes has more value than her, right? So when you adopt this mindset, when you adopt this frame, both people win, right? Because you make her more attracted to you and she ultimately is more attracted to you, right? So this is where I want to be. And these worksheets that I have inside my program, they help you to achieve exactly that. So those worksheets is what me and my client here went through. We went through them multiple times just to not only give him a surface level belief or understanding of these concepts, but to really integrate them into his being, right? Again, very much like propaganda, actually, right? Propaganda is the most effective when it's repeated time and time again, right? If you have like a certain slogan or a phrase, right? And you constantly push that out to the public, right? You share it with someone and that slogan or phrase or that idea, that belief or whatever it is, right? Whatever that belief or idea or situation is, if someone hears that thing over and over and over and over again, eventually they're gonna believe that. And this is what we did here, right? So. Because I'll be honest, like my client did have a very, very strong level of resistance when it came to this. So we went through this, we went through these exercises multiple times, and essentially through this pattern of repetition, right, through this constant repetition of positive thoughts, of positive emotions, of uplifting energy, eventually his brain started to believe those things as well, and he started to feel more confident. So at this point now where my client was feeling more confident, he viewed himself in a more high value frame and also took the way he saw women down a peg or two to make it more even and even a bit past. That's when we started to actually go out there or he started to go out there and take action on this, right? Now that he no longer viewed cold approach as this scary thing because ultimately he didn't view women as this scary thing as well that's when he started to go out and actually take some action now to help this process even more to help him to develop approach comfort even more i have an exercise another exercise in my program which helps you to look at each approach 
in a more of in more of a long term sense, right? In a more of a long term perspective, because again, one big problem that so many men have is they get too focused on that present moment when it comes to the approach, right? When it comes to the approach, they get too focused on the here, the now, the right now, whatever happens now, I'm going to completely blow out of proportion and whatever happens now, if it's bad, it's the end of the world, right? We've been, I, I've been there as well. I know it's completely normal and that's why the, the, the program is built in a way that it is because all these things I know that men struggle with and obviously I, help, I then help them to overcome these things in the best and the fastest way possible. So with this exercise here, I just help my client to just take a step back, right? Not be so engrossed into each individual approach, but take a step back and just look at the grand scheme of things. If you were to make an approach and it were to go bad, take yourself out of that situation, right? Look at life in a grand scheme of things. Is it genuinely going to affect your life? Is it genuinely going to affect the future experience in that place? If you go back to that same place three days later, four days later, a week or two later, will the people there know of you know what you went through, ridicule you, therefore perpetually worse than your experience in that place? The answer is no, right? The answer is no. And obviously that's just a very brief synopsis of, of that exercise. But essentially that's the sort of thinking that I get my clients to go through in this exercise and ultimately show them that they don't lose anything by being rejected. When they approach the only like effect is upside because the upside is that the girl likes and they go on a date they have sex with her they make her they make her their girlfriend the downside is essentially you remain in the same place as if you never made the approach right now obviously going through these exercises going through all the questions going through all the techniques the visualizations it really helps you to cement this idea in your head right and this ultimately makes making that approach so much easier. And that is ultimately how my client managed to make 50 direct approaches in just seven days, when two weeks prior to that, he had never approached a single girl in his life and had absolutely crippling approach anxiety when it came to all this. So I hope that helps. I hope that you, know, you can take some of that into your own progress, into your own journey as well. And um, obviously, if you want my personal help, if this all looks really good, if this all sounds amazing to you and you want my personal help to get those two to three dates right here, right? Two to three dates per week with Cold Approach as quickly as possible, then go to the first link in the description, book in a free game plan call with me and I will tell you on that game, uh, I will tell you on that game plan call exactly how I help you or how I will help you <laughs> to achieve all that.